my final bulletin on SBS, I take my leave with sadness. Over the years, all my colleagues have featured very prominently and positively in both my life at the network and in my personal life. I'm sad as of all to leave you, the audience. Thank you for watching and a very good night. And now it's with delight that I welcome back to SBS World News, my friend and colleague, Anton Enos. Good night aus München, Lilin. Um, having some downtime here after an enforced layoff, uh, but just such an honor to share your last broadcast with you. And of course, to have walked alongside you in the past couple of decades of your career and mine. Um, I don't know if you know this, Leland, but my very first broadcast as a presenter on SBS uh, World News was filling in for you on a weekend shift way back in the 20th century. And I think something I discovered quite early on, something that you already knew at that point, was that SBS was a different kind of beast in the landscape of broadcasting. It was something with color and something with verve. Uh, I think it's true to say at that time in the 80s and 90s, uh, there was a kind of sameness that existed across the channels, particularly the commercial channels, a bit sort of white bread, if you like. And along came SBS, small player, and then just turned that around. Uh, you particularly, I think, personified that essential point of difference because you had the confidence and the verve and the off-center styling to take that established conventionality and turn it on its head. And what we've seen over the decades, of course, as a result of that, has been an exponentially more interesting broadcasting landscape. And I think, Leland, we certainly owe you a great debt of gratitude for bringing that dash of color and style into our lives over a long period. Um, it certainly has been a great honor being your colleague, being your friend. And for those of us who shared times together, even if it was just as watching you as a, an iconic broadcaster, and just echoing the words, the wonderful words spoken there by Tomo and, and Foz, it's been a great honor to work alongside you. Uh, and as a kind of farewell gesture, your colleagues at SBS offer you this short visual tribute. Good evening. Leland Chin for the World News team. Good evening and welcome to the program. I'm Leland Chin. Mm -hmm. I will. I'm just gonna... Yeah. More than four million what? people were in the immediate path of the tsunami. Plane plows into building. America's worst nightmare becomes reality. The South African government is understood to be planning to release Nelson Mandela. The confirmed killing of 25 people at Port Arthur in Tasmania is the worst mass shooting in Australian modern history. Australian modern history. Excuse me. Hello. Good morning and good day from sunny Sydney. There's no reason why a man can't wear a frilly shirt to work. <laughs> so, are we going the way? Yes, Prime Minister, the barbecue is lit. Well done. Might there be a place in your cabinet for someone like me? Minister for good times? I'm after more power. It's become clear to me that people will watch any old trash. Which one of you nerds thought this is news? Lean in. Enos, what are you doing here? We all have our contractual obligations, and mine is to watch your back. Lily, 
Lee Lynn, you embody the spirit of SBS. You're loved and admired by an incredibly diverse range of Australians. We'll miss you. The admiration the SBS audiences have for you as a polished news presenter certainly runs deep. Lee Lynn has smashed the whole cookie cutter idea of a television presenter. She wears what she wants, she does what she wants. The Taliban managed to strike in the very heart of this city. Why is that handsome? And a footnote to that story. <laughs> Lee Lin Ching, I was once that handsome man. So you claim very generously, not so much anymore, but I'm here waiting for you on the holiday island of Paros. Perhaps you and I could sit in the sun and reread Shakespeare together. And as the Gulf build-up continues, who pays the bills? This is SBS World News. Michael, I think I've, I've gone too high now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the world for this Friday. The Saturday, and that's the world this Sunday. I'm Lee Lin Chin for the World News Team. Good night.